Hi there everybody, this is Andy from Andy's Beer Reviews, this is what we're looking at today. This is a Northern Monk uh, Faith, it's a 5.4% uh, Hazy Pale Ale. Um, yeah, looking forward to this, it's, it's an old one. But I've not done, had it a few times and never done a review on it, I don't know why. So um, today we're going to rectify that, we're going to get it out of the can, into a glass, so we think about it on camera. Or in a nice little pale colour. It's poured a nice hazy straw colour. Colour's really good. I like the colour of that. Um, little above uh, one finger fluffy, very fluffy white um, head, really good head. I'm seeing a tiny little bit of carbonation, I'm not seeing a lot going on in there, but a little bit of carbonation. Looks good, let's see what it smells like. Wow, that is really zesty. Very, very zesty, getting some mild malt sweetness from it. But there's all sorts happening now, I'm getting grapefruit, orange, lemon. It smells really good. It smells like a really fresh fruit salad. It smells like something you should pour cream over and eat rather than drink. It smells great, can't wait to taste it. Cheers everybody. Wow, oh yeah, need another sip. That's nice, that is really nice. Um, wow, it's zingy, it's zesty, it's fresh, it smells fresh. It's, you get a lot of um, IPAs where they, they use a use concentrates and that sort of thing. This is pure hot flavour in there. And it's got, you've got that freshness as part of that, it's great. Sweetness is what hits you first. My mouth filled with sweetness straight away. And as that started to die down, you start to get tingles of grapefruit and orange in there as well. No lemon, got lemon on the aroma, nothing in the flavour. There's a zesty bite, could be lemon, but very much you got the, the grapefruit and the orange in there, and that little bitter back end to it as well, not a great deal. Uh, Northern one can be a little bit hit and miss. I think the, um, yeah, sometimes they try and be popular and do really popular stuff. Sometimes you, they are quite obviously brew what they love, and, and this for me falls into that brew what they love to do. Because it's fantastic, really is nice. Sometimes you get the feeling that these are purely fruit juice flavours. You know, a, a can of juice on the morning, um, breakfasty juice flavours. This is this, this does taste like um, you're drinking an IPA. It's five point four percent. Probably technically not a sessionable one, but, but this is one you could drink. And drink and drink all night. But it is only 5.4, so you probably keep uh, maybe not have all your wits about you, but certainly most of them. Time to rate it. It's a cracking summer drink. Uh, it's been lovely today. This would have been nice out there with a, a, a nice meal. Didn't wait till the evening, but you know, on a summer's day, that's going to be a gorgeous drink. It's refreshing, it is easy drinking. Like I said before, the flavours taste really fresh, which is good. Very smooth, creamy in the mouth as well. 
I'm giving it a bit of a wiggle, but I've still got a good head. It's moving nicely, it's cleaning nicely, nice bit of lace on the glass. That's really nice. Um, score wise for me for that, 8.5 out of 10. Cheers everybody, remember big thumbs up, like the video please, subscribe if you want to get access to these uh, daily reviews. If you've had this or want to comment on any of the videos, please do so, I respond to every single comment. Cheers.